Hey, this is Ox from DryFireTrainingCards.com, and a while back I wrote an article on using a metronome to smooth out and speed up your draw stroke. And I got a lot of questions on it, and the easiest way to answer those questions is going to be with a video. So what I'm going to do today is demonstrate using a metronome along with a CERT inert training platform and my Glock 26 for the live fire portion to show you how to do it and why it works so well. What we're going to be doing is an eight step draw stroke and that's a lot longer than most draw strokes that people practice and the, the reason we're going to do eight is because we want, to, we want to break the draw stroke up into as many component chunks as possible so that we can focus on each component chunk. Once those are smooth and we can do them perfectly then we'll speed up and the eight step draw stroke will quickly become a seven six five four step draw stroke to where it's one fluid motion where the lines are completely blurred between um, getting a grip on your firearm and putting accurate aim shots on target. So here's what the eight steps look like. First we're going to grip, clear, rock, engage with the support hand, get the sights into alignment with the target, and engage three times on the way out to full extension. Boom, boom, boom. So here's what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a reason why I'm doing this. Actually, there's two reasons why. The first reason is, if you're ever in a situation where you can't engage a target out here because of retention issues or uh, a fear of having someone take your weapon away, you want to be comfortable using your gun closer to your body and you can still fire aimed accurate shots up here and you're, the slide's not going to hit you in the face as long as you have uh, good control over the gun and the way that you get good control over the gun is practice. So that's one of the big reasons. The other big reason is if I start the process of lining up my sights here I'm fine tuning all the way out there so that no matter where the sights are here I'm ready to put a precise shot on target by the time I get out to full extension. And um, depending on the situation, the extra two shots that you get between here and here are bonus. And um, when you're going full speed, it might be three shots that you get in, it might be two shots that you get in, it might not be any shots. It might not be that you're ready to release the shot until you get out to full extension. But what we're going to do is practice three shots on the way out. So again, here's what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And with the target, I'll show you. I'm gonna go ahead and use the metronome. And we're at 40 beats per second right now, or 40 beats per minute. And what I did was I went through the process and I was very, very deliberate about every motion. Now I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Not a whole lot. I'm going to go to 60 beats per minute. And again, by focusing on each component chunk, you get very, very smooth and deliberate. And what I'll sometimes do is I'll see, I come out of the holster and I'm over here. And this delay between steps allows me to correct so I can correct between beats. So if I come out off target, I can correct before I go to the next step. Again, a very, very useful tool. Now I'm gonna do it on the target so you can kinda see. All right, now let's go to live fire.
All right, now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you speed it up a little bit. This is uh, 120 beats. So two cycles per second. So with a moving platform, we're still able to keep tight groups on target, even while the gun is moving out to full extension. So uh, the idea that you cannot shoot accurately here, that you have to be at full extension, it's, it's just not accurate. The groups will loosen up a little bit. Um, the, there's going to be a little bit of inconsistency between shots just because your, your shooting platform changes from shot to shot but you can definitely maintain control and shoot tight groups while moving. Now, one of the things that you saw me do was come up and get what's called on the rail and then extend out to the target. That concept of getting on the rail comes from concealedcarrymasterscourse.com and that's from uh, retired Navy SEAL Larry Yatch. And it's a great course and you should really check it out. But for um, more drills like this, I want to strongly encourage you to head on over to dryfiretrainingcards.com and um, check it out. There's uh, over 50 drills that you can do. And um, thank you very much.